a playoff game feeling different than a, a regular season start? Um, no, not really. I I like to keep the same routine I've, I've done all year. Um, I think there's no reason to change now. So um, what I've been doing has been working, so I plan to do the same thing. Just to follow up, is there a little bit extra juice, anticipation? I mean, even Garrett, before his start, uh, said that, you know, maybe there's a little bit of nerves, butterflies, et cetera, and he's pitched in, in playoff games before. From a, an emotional standpoint, is it? feel a little bit different for sure um it's gonna be my first playoff appearance so um there's always some you know excitement um and butterflies at, at the same time um but l like i said I, I don't think it feels any different from going out there and uh pitching in front of the same crowd that we have all year so uh i'm excited and i'm ready for the challenge we'll stay over there with bruce nestor does the prospect of bad weather impact at all your preparation or the way you're going to go about this whole thing uh no today i'll go out there and you know do my my regular stuff before my outing if i was going to pitch tomorrow um and if it rains tomorrow i'll come in and throw and you know play some catch and get ready for friday so you'll be ready either way yeah for sure for sure i think um like i said i'll i'll, I'll train today like i'm gonna pitch tomorrow at 7 30 um and if things do change then you know we'll 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 adjust it with that. In the third row on your left. Nestor, um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, in Garrett's performance last night, did you see anything that you could take away that would help you in your start? And also, in terms of Cleveland's lineup, what problems do they pose? Um, I felt like they were pretty aggressive um, first time through. Uh, I mean, me and him are completely different pitchers. You know, I don't throw 100 miles per hour. Um but no, I think I, I think I'm gonna approach him the same way. You know, I have, the game plan says uh, we're, we're gonna do a game plan tomorrow. You know, before the game, and whether um, we're pitching to my strength or their weaknesses. But um, you know, I think the way that he approached them last night was excellent. Um, his his pitch count ran up a little bit in you know first three innings, and then he was he was able to get quick out. So. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the, the way I pitch, I'm going to be able to induce a lot of contact and hopefully they're weak contacts. Stay on your left with Brian. Esther, when you look back on this year for you personally, what, what have some of your favorite moments been? You know, what really stands out to you? I want to say the first half where we were going on an incredible run as a team. Um, obviously, you know, with the success that I had the first half and making the officer game was, was incredible for me. Um, but I think the the thing I'm most proud of is that I was able to make 28 starts, uh, throw 158 innings. Um, you know, coming into this year, I had 93 last year, um, and I didn't know how how long and how durable I was going to be. So, um, with the help of the training staff, the strength coaches, and even the starting rotation, uh, you know, they've done it year in year out. So, um, they've helped me along the way uh, to get to 158 innings. I know I I hit that two weeks of you know injury, but um, it was something that was, I guess, you know, way like above, above me. And, um, I was just able to, to keep, I guess, that tunnel vision towards the end and finish strong. And what do you think has allowed you to keep that kind of grounded mentality? Um, I go out there every time, every fifth day, like it's my last time I'm going to pitch. Um, I think that's how I've handled my whole career, even in the minor leagues, um, so for me to be able to go out there and enjoy the moment and just be part of it, um, I think that's what keeps me level-headed and, um, you know, with, with that, you know, sense of urgency uh, to do well every time. And on your right, Christy, in the second row. I was going to ask about that. You talked about pitching kind of with a chip on your shoulder and, and that, you know, not getting designated all the way up. How do you hold on to that after you've had so much success? What do you think about and how does that drive you? You know, it, it's hard to say because obviously, you know, with the sex, you, you, you start, you know, becoming more comfortable and you start um, thinking ahead. And I think, um, you know, as far as what I try and do is, like I said, stay in the moment. Um, I want to I wanna cherish every day, even if, if I'm not pitching. And for me to be able to, to do that, I think that's what's kept me, you know, neutral every single time. So, um I would like to say that I, I, I go day by day and hopefully, you know, today is, is the best day I have and tomorrow we'll see what happens. 
uh, Dan, I think, and then Meredith. I know your your focus is on tomorrow, but if there is a, a rain out, what do you think your availability might be like for Game Five? Uh, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna empty the tank. So um, if I if if I pitch on Friday and you know I have to come back on short rest, whether it's two or three days, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and prepare in between the best I can uh, to feel as best as I can. But you know if the circumstances you know don't allow me to, then um, just gonna gonna try and you know like I've played every, this whole season with with my heart on my sleeve and um, and competitive. I think Meredith has a question. Then Ron. You talk about emptying the tank and potentially being available if they need you game five. Even last year when you were floating back and forth between the bullpen and the starting rotation, you'd go up and say every day, I'm available, I'm available. You spoke about the durability. What do you think has been the biggest difference in being that durable? Like, What did you do throughout the season that was the difference maker? It started in the offseason. I think I trained um, my body to try and with, withhold uh, this innings that I've pitched. Um, the off season was huge for me. I think I prepared real well, um, and like I said, uh, time and time again, the starting pitching, uh, the staff has helped me um, understand, um, you know, how to recuperate from start to start. Um, the training staff and the, and the strength coaches have done a good job with me, uh, staying on top of me and uh, make sure I hit every point uh, in between those those starts. So. I think uh, I got to give a lot of credit to all those all those guys that have helped me because I've never done this before, um, and I'm career high in innings, so um, I got to give a lot of credit to them. And same row with Ron. What are the challenges for you of a high contact team like Cleveland? Um, yeah, I faced them twice this year. Um, I I felt like I did pretty good uh, both times. Um, just try and do as much uh, low contact quality as I can. Uh, you know, they put the ball in play. They're 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 a fast team. Uh, they're willing to steal at any at any point. Um, you know, I think as long as we keep them inside the ballpark and we control the running game, you know, we'll be fine. I think our defense uh, is pretty sharp behind us, as you guys saw yesterday. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. And you always seem to enjoy yourself out on the mound. Was there ever at a point earlier in career where it wasn't like that for you and what changed it? Definitely. Um, and we go back to 18, 19, and 20, those three years. Um, 18 and 20 were short-lived because it was four innings and seven innings, but um, I felt like every time I was out there <laughs> giving up those runs, it was it was a lonely feeling on the mound. Um, it wasn't it wasn't very, very exciting and I wasn't happy, but um, I was able to turn it around and hopefully I can continue to do so uh, moving forward. What changed it? Um, I think my preparation, um, creating a routine. Um, I think those three years I didn't really have a routine. I didn't know what it was to start in the big leagues. I didn't know what was to come out of the bullpen in, you know, in the big leagues. I, I, I didn't come out of the bullpen in the minor leagues ever uh, coming up. So I think creating a routine, uh, taking care of my body, uh, talking to guys that have already done it for 200 innings every year, um, you know those conversations are are were very valuable to me uh, throughout the year. In the second row, given where you were drafted, being an unheralded prospect, did you ever think being a front of the line playoff st starter was a possibility for you? At all, at all. Uh, I remember coming up, they would say I would be a fifth starter at best, but my role would be a a, a long guy in the bullpen, um, and that's how I broke into the big leagues. Um, I remember in 18, I was fighting for a starting spot with the Orioles. Uh, they ended up signing a couple guys at the end of spring training, and I slotted back into the long relief uh, row in the bullpen. So um, I was kind of content with what I was doing uh, in that in that row, and I was happy to, to be in that row. But as soon as I tasted what it was to be a starting pitcher in the big leagues, um, it makes me it makes me work twice as hard now because I would I wouldn't want to give it up. Do a couple more, Greg, in the second row on your right. Yes, sir. You mentioned the defense behind you. How much of a difference has that made this year? And as a as a pitcher, how much comfort is that knowing, you know, the guys behind you can make that play? Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible to know when the ball's hit. There's always a chance for it to be an out. Um, obviously, you know, you you can't control uh, anything once the ball's out of your hands. So uh, to be able to have a kind of that comfort um, to know that your defense is one of the best in the big leagues, um, if not the best. Um, it feels great to 
to uh, be able to pitch and allow contact and know that plays will be made behind you. In the third row. Uh, Nestor, during player introductions, you had one of the loudest standing ovations um, from the crowd. What does it mean to be so embraced by this fan base and the city? It felt super cool. My parents were in, were in, were in the stands, and after the game, they, they said, man, I, we couldn't believe what we heard out there. So um, it was kind of surreal for me, and, and really I appreciated the, the, the ovation. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, but just to be out there and, and, and share that moment with everybody, I remember walking up to the line, and everybody was like, oh, you know, you got the biggest ovation, blah, 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 until a judge came up, obviously. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was cool. You speak about your parents. Is it a tale about um, their hard work and your hard work um, throughout your life and coming into the season and being so successful? Yeah, I mean, we uh, we came to the states when I was seven months old. Uh, they were they were young. They were young parents when they came to the states, and um, I mean, they've worked their tail off since since we got here. Um, and I mean, I gotta give all the credit to them. They've they've grew me to be. I want to say like a pretty young man that that you know takes care of his life and and is pretty responsible. So um, for them to do that and to to give me that you know f uh, that freedom to do whatever I wanted in this country and to go about uh, you know my business every day has meant the world to me. So I, I thank them a lot. And very quickly because we got rap Bruce. Nestor, how much do you appreciate the opportunity to give the Yankees a commanding two nothing series lead? Yeah, it would be an honor to do so. I think, um, obviously, everybody knows this is a th uh, three out of five. Um, and to give that, that second game win, it's going to be huge for us. You know, we're going we're gonna to have the series on a chokehold, like everybody says, and, and uh, it gives us a better opportunity to advance. So uh, for me to have that opportunity and to go out there and give the best, the best uh, chance that I can give to the team for, for a W is, is, is going to be amazing.